Hello everybody, Frank here, and I'm sure most of you have seen this screen before. It is the Madden 2013 screen, and my, I'm here today. About to, I'm going to give you a tip, another tip, I guess. This is what, kind of what my uh, last couple of videos have been: uh, tips in the Madden Ultimate Team. Um, this one today is going to be about uh, building your team um, over a period of time. Uh, this will deal with not actually spending any money on this game. I know people have actually put a lot of money into this, and they have those teams that are up in the 90, upper 90s. I've seen 98s, I've seen 97s, and they have a ton of good players. But um, to me, I don't really want to put any more money into this game except for the $60 it cost me to pay this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the free way, I guess, of building your team and the process that I've gone through so far. To build my team I'll show you my lineup here quick before I go into details as you can see it's my best lineup I guess autogram and McCoy go in there they are actually I mean I'm 92 right now so I can play those legend games actually right now which are extremely hard and I'm terrible at them but as you can see this is my this is my team 92 right now I was and over the, the what I did when I first started is I actually I was one of those people that just wanted to play my best players, get packs quick and play my best players right away and that ended up biting me in the butt really quick because they're running out of contracts quick by these solo challenges I was doing and I was not able to get coin, enough coins to actually buy packs to use those contracts and I didn't want to be, I didn't want to buy contracts either I wanted to save money and see the cool packs I could get but instead I was not, my players were just going down quick and I wasn't able to get them back up to build my team quick. So I had to think, I thought of a different way to do this. And what I did is I ended up switching all my good players out. I would take the top five good players on my team out and come in here and go into the reserve, my reserve cards. And I'd basically go over to overall and sort them by that and sort them by the worst players possible on my, that I have in here. And I'd put these guys in. As you can see, there'll be zeros on these crappy players quite a bit. And what I would do is I'd play these guys instead in those solo challenges so I could build my team up or build my coins up without using any of my good players or using those contracts because those contracts fly by whenever you're doing the solo challenges. But if you actually use these, if you use these players in their 60s that you're kind of handed out right away, it's... No one cares if they're gone. I guess when I was out of, when Greg McElroy here was zero contracts left, and I got the warning that he was long contracts, I uh, I can't say I shed a tear because I didn't have McElroy in there anymore to be my quarterback. So what I did is, as you can see, here's some more guys that are zero. As I ended up playing all these guys until I felt that I had a good enough team, I'd buy packs still. I was buying packs once I reached 9,000 coins, and I would just put those guys. I'd put the good guys right into my reserve cards, and I guess I know you you tend to get like one or two crappy players in there still. And I'd play those guys, and I'd save the contracts. And over time, like I said, you build coins fairly quick by doing those solo challenges. And I was getting I was getting duplicate cards in my packs too, so I was trying to sell them for at least a decent decent amount of coins, even if you got one thousand or two thousand coins out of a duplicate person, you're probably not going to do anything with that person. So I ended up making coins a little quicker that way. So what happened after after I figured out, I, well, I basically I wanted to start playing people online and doing head-to-head -head matches. So I ended up putting all my good players back in. And this does, it does take a while, I will admit that. It took me about 15 minutes to take all my good players out and put my bad players in. And then to switch around and putting my good players in, and taking my bad players out, it took about 10 or 15 more minutes. So I guess that that is one downside of this. But really, I, like I said, it's not that much work. It's only about 10 or 15 minutes. And that is how I got my team built this high. Like I mean, I can go over some of the other things. Like I said, do these solo challenges whenever you have these. That cra whenever you're playing with a crappy team, do the solo challenges. Work your way through the regular seasons. I think I've done three of these. Almost done with my... Oh, I've actually, I've done... This is my fifth one, actually. I did the Jets ones, too. So I'm almost done with another one here, which I'm playing these with my best players now, so it kind of sucks, but... That's, 
to me, I think it's worked out well. I want to know, I guess my question for you, for anyone who watches this, leave a comment. Tell me how you have built your team up so far. I'm interested to hear what other people do to build their team. Um, if you if you spend money in the game, um, say you spent money, I guess. But if not, uh, leave a comment about how you built your team and what are, what is a if there's any other tips to build a team. Like I said, what I did, I played all my crappy players, even though it sucked to have to play. It sucked to have to play them and have Kelvin Johnson on the bench. But in the long run, I think it's really helped me out. I have a fairly good team right now. And I guess what I am doing now, I guess I'll go over this. I don't think I've said it yet. Right now is I have 2,000 coins. And what I've been doing is going into the store and just buying contracts after I win and building up their contracts so I don't have to worry about spending money on those anymore. So once I get everybody in like the 20s even, then I'll start saving my coins up and then I'll be able to buy packs. So there is some strategy to this, I guess. I know some people I've read comments in other videos say they have only a, like 100 coins and they don't have a quarterback though. So it's like, well, I, have, I do not have a tip there. I guess I have not gotten into that situation. But what I will say is um, if you are having troubles, try this way out. It's worked for me and it might work for you. Like I said, put the crappy players in, play them as much as you can until you, have, until you have a pretty good stock of good players in your reserve cards. Swap them out and then you'll be able to play head to head games if you want. You can still play solo challenges obviously, but I like playing head to head games when I have about a, a 90 team, so I feel like it's a little bit more even. But that is my Madden tip. Like I said, leave a comment about if you've paid to make your team better or if you've figured out a different way to build your team. But that is my man and tip for you guys. I hope you've been enjoying my videos. I appreciate the new subscribers and all the comments. Um, I enjoy reading the comments. They come to my email on my phone so I'm able to read them right when they happen. Like I said, my name, my PSN name is Defrang. I think I have it, I don't know, I guess I don't even know if you can see it right now. But I have it in my, um, I put it in the subscription, it's in my, it's on my channel. Like I said, feel free to add me. I've had a few people message me asking questions about certain things and I'm I'm happy to answer your guys' questions if you have them. But that is it. I'm signing off and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.